I saw my mom leave for work crying like she usually does, but as I realized for the thousandth time, she can't see me. I'm dead. As I was getting lowered to get buried, I noticed this one guy in the back couldn't stop laughing at something. Now, I can't stop laughing in his dreams and in the middle of the night. Damn it, I thought. So many pairs of shoes, but so little options as to where to put the shoes on. I was walking out of the terminal onto my flight when I finally realized this place was actually haunted. As I was coming up to my room to see my girlfriend and child, I heard her excited and happy laughter together, but realized they both died when she was trying to give birth. I heard my mother call me from down in the basement. As soon as I started to go for the basement door, I felt a feminine hand on my shoulder. I was playing Xbox co-op with my friend with two controllers one late night. The other controller though, the one my friend was using, never left the ground. I didn't really have a childhood, so I was imagining one night I was in the classroom again, paying attention to the teacher. But as an unfamiliar voice said, snap out of it, I realized this school had been abandoned for decades. I'm a teacher and I like to test out experiments my kids made. But this one experiment, you said, step inside. As soon as the door closed, I passed out. I woke up in this reenactment of the Battle of Bunker Hill. It looked so real, though. As the familiar name popped up on my message notifications, Kate sent me a chat. I couldn't help but cry as she went missing two days ago. And she said, eight days ago, I wasn't allowed to text her back or open the message app to look at her chat she sent. <laughs> 